beginner, you're working with opposites attract and your chin is down. You're not putting your chin in the wind. You're not reaching for punches. Keep it down. You want to catch the punch close to you so that it's extended. And you've got to learn slowly. And this starts in really in slow motion. You've got to learn to key off their offensive initiation with your defensive initiation. First, it's just the amateur style. And you just want to make sure you're not getting a hit. That's the first thing. And the most important thing in a lot of ways. Okay, now, then you, you make this punch miss. That punch is gone. You have to worry about the next punch, in this case, the left hook. You cannot be focused with your eyes or your mind on this at all. If your mind stops here, you're getting hit with the next punch. You've got to be reacting to the next punch. Okay? Every time. Same thing. You miss a punch, you've got to be reacting to their next punch, and their next punch, and their next punch, and their next punch. You're not getting hit. you got to take pride and not let them touch you up. It's it's no mark of a man to take shots. So, no matter what's happening, you don't do that. You gotta go down under here. You gotta put your chin into your shoulder, whether you're leaning back or going forward or whatever. Your chin's down, your hands are up, your elbows are in. Teaching defense is a gradual process of conditioning the new kid to contact. Um, and if this is done wrong, which a lot of places are guilty of, then you can make the kid gun shy or just ruin them before they get a chance to spar or even get started. So we don't want to do that. We want to bring them along, build confidence, and slowly increase the intensity. We want them to keep their composure and keep their hands up and their chin down and maintain their stance. Try to take the stress out of the process. I'll just tell them it's a walk in the park. You try to stay relaxed and calm. Best defense will move the opponent into a position to be struck. And there's a relationship that we have to look at between offense and defense. Start the drill slow and feed it to them, and then gradually increase the intensity. Infighting is another important part of defense that cannot be overlooked. They've got to develop a fighting spirit and be able to defend themselves in the clinch. I want my fighters to be the boss on the inside. Head off those lines. Head movement is one of the skills that's not taught to amateurs, and I think that's a mistake. By the second year a kid trains, I think you've got to introduce head movement. It's the foundation of defense and it's also the transition from defense to offense. You very gradually increase the intensity and the amount of contact leading up to sparring. When you do it gently and gradually, they don't even notice and you can bring them up to a point where you know they stop flinching and then they're ready to spar. They need to slot their head and get off and then move their head after they've finished punching. This has to be taught and drilled in sections. And down, hands up. You need drills to work with transitioning from offense to defense by moving your head after you punch. And you need drills to work with changing from defense to offense. So you make them miss, make them pay. This is called boxing mode. This kind of advanced work on head movement and defense needs to be done daily.